Hello YouTube, it's Grossama. And here I have the Blue Destiny Unit 2 exam mode. And we're gonna go ahead and do a little pose video. So once again, we're gonna do three main poses and I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to get these uh, models in such a perfect pose uh, to go ahead and display on your shelf. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. So here we have the first pose, uh, pretty much a dashing pose because this is actually on the cover art of the Unit 3, uh, pretty much him kind of dashing. Uh, I really like that. I really just love, um, you know, dual beam saber type mobile suits. So I, I, that's just the reason I, I went ahead and uh, went with this. Now you can kind of change it up how you want, whether you want him in a dashing pose or he's kind of more upright or slashing, however you want. But I really did figure that um, him kind of just like dashing towards uh, just really looks like just way better. Now the uh, the stand that I'm actually having him on right now, I believe this is the one that comes with the Nim Pulse. Um, so you may have to go ahead and get your own um, stand or you know go ahead and just uh, definitely get one of the action bases because those are pretty good. Um, but overall, you know, if you can get yourself a nice little base, uh, this is one of the poses you can go ahead and achieve. Okay, so on to the second pose. Um, this is something I'm kind of just thinking more utilizing his shield and his little beam rifle. Uh, so let's go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so here is the second pose. Uh, I went with something just a little more simplistic and something that's kind of just more generic. Uh, him firing his beam rifle uh, and also kind of doing a, uh, a lateral dash, or, or sorry, a, a horizontal dash. Um, just so that way he can go ahead and evade any kind of enemy fire or any kind of like enemy missiles or something of the sort or maybe to get a better position on the enemy. Um, so with that, uh, I really do like this pose, um, but you know, it, it's just one of those things like, hey, what armaments do you want to use on this? Do you want to go ahead and have him more in a static? Do you want him to utilize his rifle or do you want him to utilize uh, his beam saber? So it's really going to be up to you. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the third pose. Okay, so the third and final pose, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just make it stand on its own without using an actual stand since this kit does not come with a stand, uh, which is pretty unfortunate. But we're going to go ahead and make him just stand on his own, but, but still utilizing a pretty decent pose. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so here's the pose that we have him in. Uh, pretty much this is more like a deflecting pose. So if someone's coming at him and pretty much doing a slash, I would say that he would you know, come out and just hurry up and try and block as soon as possible. Um, so this is just more of a defending pose if you really like that. It's, this can really be used if you have the Unit 1 or Unit 3 in your arsenal. Um, since I think this can pretty much go both ways, whether it was for the Xeon Forces or for the uh, Earth Federation, however you want to use it. Uh, but just this one in particular, uh, I think this is pretty dope if you go ahead and use them um, as you know blocking. So, I mean, there's plenty of different poses that you can utilize standing up, uh, but this is the one I chose because this is the one I pretty much liked out of all the ones that I really tried. But other than that, guys, um, that's really about it. I, I really want to do some, some better things when it comes to the, uh, the posing videos. But as of right now, I still don't have any of my household goods and I'm kind of just like doing this on the floor of my guest room. So this isn't even in my um, my actual gunpla room. I'm still waiting for not only the household goods, but I'm also going to be buying uh, some furniture and to include an L-shaped glass desk, uh, which I'll be able to do my building, my reviews, and my editing all in one table. 
So with that, guys, um, that's pretty much all I have. Thanks for watching. Uh, definitely rate, comment, subscribe, uh, and especially uh, ring that bell if you are already a, uh, a subscriber and you want to get notified of any kind of new videos that I upload. Uh, but if you're not, definitely subscribe and just definitely uh, stay along with the channel and see how you know the channel grows with more people. And with that, more um, well, pretty much better quality is going to be coming your way. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.